or investigate where the money's coming from and through the level of playing field. It's quite clear what's happened. It's not being a level playing field. I don't think it's it's really fair to ask me because you're much longer, but you're much longer in this country. And did you care, really, when Chelsea, when Roman Abramovich came to Chelsea, did anybody really care? Did anybody really, like, really care when Newcastle got taken over? So, do supporters really care? That's a question. So, but we, we, it's pretty obvious. I think it's pretty obvious where the money's coming from. So it's like everybody knew it, but we accepted it. That's our fault. That's a society fault. We accepted it. Uh, and now, obviously, we think, oh, no, now we cannot accept it anymore, so and now we, we punish them. It's not Chelsea's fault, not at all. So, But it's a background check. Or I, I didn't understand 100%. Did you ask for a background check? or whatever? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not, I, I have no idea how a background check works. Could, would look like in, in, in these moments, but I can tell you, I was, I'm was six and a half years here now. From the first day I came here, I was really happy with our owners. And in these times, I'm even more happy with our owners. And um, because it's, in the end, owners are there to lead a club, to give financial resources, when they want to make a benefit, then we be say, oh, how can they want to make a benefit? They're just whatever. They're just in here to give the money to, to football and all these kind of things. And um, yeah, and then we, we all hope that, uh, or we don't even think about the, what's going around, where's the money coming from. And now we start obviously thinking where the money's coming from. I think it's a good idea, to be honest. Yeah, we should think about it a bit more. Dominic? Yeah, I wanted to ask you about um, Nabi, if it may. Um, while he was away, the, or while the yeah, AFCON was going on and you were being asked about um, Savio and Mel, you, know, you always mentioned Nabi and you always added the caveat to Brunis in the world class midfielder. Um, since he's come back, he's fallen through very good, but he's actually in the same position as Mel contractually. He's up in 14 months now. I was just wondering, do you still see him with you long term? Is it uh, an issue that you will? What's your address in the summer, or how do you see his future going? Given his importance, no, his future future will be great. Um, I know that uh, because of the the player he is, and all the rest. Uh, I understand really that these questions about contracts are constantly happening. But we are the, the club is in in talks with all the agents of all the people, and um, when something is decided, we will let you all know. Until then, it makes no sense to discuss it. In a specific way, uh, the, 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 the more question was makes absolutely no sense because nothing you happen is completely fine. Everything is fine. Mo is 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 giving his absolutely everything for this club at the moment. That's the only thing we should be concerned about, and all the rest will be sorted whenever. Um, but it's um, we have other players as well in a similar situation. But the, the club is in, con in, in in talks with all all the agents, and um, and that's how it should be. Well, his, his form's been very good since he's since he come back. Nabi, I, I think I heard today that Nabi, if he plays tomorrow, it will be game number 100. Um, that's an impressive number. And on the other side, it could have been more games because he was unfortunately um, sometimes injured. But when he played, and if you look back, the, 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 the games he played, how we played in these games, he's an exceptional football player. An exceptional football player. Um, and... That's why we brought him in, in the first place, um, and that he didn't play more often. Was most was mostly because he was he was injured in moments. Um, but um, I think from the 100 games he played, there were at least 80 really good ones, and that's a quite good number. Anyone else? Yes. It would have been cool if you ignored him now. <laughs> Just ignore him. No. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to ask you about Joel. That's it. The player of the month. The of the month. That was great yesterday. When it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was actually going to ask you about that because it looks like there were sort of everybody was particularly happy. Yeah, about it. that's true. Were there sort of like was it, did anything happen at the training ground? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, we have um, um, before training meeting, 
Yeah, and I started it with, um, and not everybody knew it then. So I only saw somewhere, I don't know, a little note or whatever. I Tiago put a picture. Tiago Graham put a picture in a in a play, in, a, in, in 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 a group, um, and I saw it there that he obviously had a, the trophy in his hand. So I asked, "Is it true really too that Joel?" And it, <laughs> yeah, it was similar to um, the celebrations after the Carabao Cup. To be honest, uh, it was really it was really cool. Yeah, Joel is a very very famous figure in the, in the in the group in the team and he obviously got not a lot of high um headlines um and and I don't like I I said a couple of times I don't I, I'm not too much in individual prizes for football players but I understand a little bit um but if um somebody should have won it then I think it makes really sense that um, for once it's it's Joel and um it's really cool, and I don't know exactly who votes for that. Is that the people, or is a panel, or who votes for Player of the Month? Does anybody know that? Oh, sorry for asking the question. <laughs> <laughs> you have really no idea who votes for that, but we speak now about it. If it was his mom, what what's then? It's a Premier, Premier League panel. I think. A, Premier League panel. It is a, a Premier League. I think I criticize the Premier League quite frequently, but um, I have to say, you made worse decisions. Yeah. What I was going to say, it, 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 um, like, I know you don't like this phrase and reluctant to use it, but, but you sort of you, you're often asked, is, is this player um, underrated or goes under the radar? Yeah, he definitely is. Yeah, I don't like it usually to say, but he definitely is. But, but he could. You believe me? If there's one person on this planet who couldn't care less, if we all underrate him. It's Joel Matip. <laughs> Honestly, um, he doesn't even realize it, probably. He's just happy to be with his boys and playing football. He's a really smart person, but not in these kind of things. Uh, where he thinks, oh my, oh, my God, I should have another status or whatever. Not at all. That's why everybody was so happy that he got it. Anyone else? No. All done? Going once? <laughs> We ticked all boxes, eh? So, thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.